Hello my friends, my name is Tim Johnson. I want to talk about fear today and how fear keeps us in our comfort zones, particularly when we're in addiction. And there are sort of four stages that you have to step through from sort of the comfort zone, or well, the comfort zone in three other stages that you're gonna to need to step through to overcome your addiction or make any change in your life because change inevitably involves um, discomfort of some sort, mental, physical, spiritual, emotional. There's going to be discomfort there of some sort um, because that's the only way you can change sometimes. But particularly with addiction, fear keeps, it kept me in addiction for many years. And that can be fear of sort of two main things, I suppose. There are others as well, obviously, but the two main ones that from, from people who contact me are detox and withdrawal, the first one, from drugs or alcohol. And the first thing I will say is that there is a lot of videos on this channel um, in which I go into great depth, having, having experienced both of um, how to plan for them, how to set the date, how to make it as comfortable as you can possibly make it. Um, so have a look at those and please subscribe and like and share the videos because hopefully just more people um, will see them and benefit from the, experience that, the experiences that I've had, good and bad. So withdrawal, yeah, detox. I mean, there's two ways of doing that. I mean, there's, if you can get in, if you're lucky enough to get into um, professional detox, if you're like a hospital detox or a rehab detox, then fair enough, you'll be managed. But even that requires you stepping out of your comfort zone and um, planning to do that and, and, and get, you know, facing your fears, if you like. Because with withdrawal, there's two main fears, I suppose. It's a fear of the unknown if you've never done it before because you may have heard all sorts of horror stories about it. Um, you know, and you've multiplied those in, in your mind and they become worse and worse. And your mind has a habit of doing that and jumping ahead to the worst scenarios, obviously. And that's how it breeds sort of fear inside of you and makes it, it almost impossible to step out of that comfort zone. I mean, the, the comfort zone in, where you feel safe and in control, I suppose, of addiction. The paradox is, of course, you're anything but in control. You're um, way out of control. You know, your, your life is unmanageable. You know, so that's, this is why you need the change. And stepping out of your comfort zone can apply to any sort of change, you know, not, not just addiction. And so, yeah, the fear of the unknown there, where you've made it worse in your head than it possibly is. And the fear of the known, if you like, where if you've been through it before, as I did sort of many times with alcohol and opiates, where you know what's coming, if you like. You know, you know what to expect. And, um, you know, you perhaps remember it worse than it actually was. It isn't pleasant, is it? You know, it depends on obviously many, many factors. It depends on your use, um, your drug, um, how long you've been addicted for, you know, how much you're taking, um, how if you taper down or not, or if you just jump off. Many, many factors, your age, your size, your weight, your fitness, all the sorts of things come into play. But you can make it better for yourself. The thing is, for you to step out of your comfort zone, the next zone you have to step into is your fear zone. And um, if you can imagine a circle, so the comfort zone's in the middle, the next circle you're stepping into is your fear zone. And um, that's, that can be sort of a, a fear of the unknown. Um, fear is sort of when you make excuses. So you're constantly saying, well, I can do it next week or, I'm not quite ready to do it yet, or I'm okay as I am at the moment, or you know, just put it off and put it off and put it off, and things get worse and worse. Fear of being judged, because another fear when you're coming off uh, drugs and alcohol, particularly alcohol, is that you're judged by other people, particularly the circle of people who you've been drinking with or um, you know using with, and um, you have to drop all that. You have to step into that. And embrace it and just um, people, places and things, you have to lose them and create new friendships. And this, I mean, that takes a lot of courage. And 
but it's a necessary thing withdrawal and detox and dropping people places and things and all that you have to step through that fear it's otherwise you're never going to get free of alcohol and drugs it's simple as that you're never going to be able to make a new life for yourself and also some people are afraid of um feeling emotions and pain and men mental physical and emotional um pain that they may have been masking and numbing for years and years and years that's very frightening but when you step through that into that and embrace it you have to do that at some point you can either live hiding from it um die on your feet not live on your knees as the saying goes basically i mean you can live on your knees forever and and be a slave to your addiction or a slave to wherever you're stuck in life or you can grit your teeth and jump in through it and um have to you have to embrace that and 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 go with it and yes you're going to feel discomfort of all sorts but it doesn't last forever it's it, it, it you know it will pass as they say and i know that sounds trite but it does and to experience, I made a video about freedom a couple of days ago, you know, to experience that freedom, you have to step through fear. So the next stage um, that you have to step into is the learning zone, which is just linked to what I've just said. So you have the comfort zone, you've stepped through into the fear zone, through the fear zone, you've got through all the excuses, you've faced it, you're not worrying about what people think about you, you're dropping people, places and things. And then the learning zone comes. And this is where um, you have to learn a new way of life and a new way to deal with all the stuff that drugs and alcohol were masking and helping you cope with. Because you've been wanting to change the way you feel as long as you can remember. So you feel uncomfortable in your own skin, you have no confidence around people, you've had pain from your past, you've got pain now, you've got physical pain, you've got all sorts of stuff, maybe, and you've been using drugs and alcohol to cope with that. Now comes the learning zone where you have to learn to live without it. And there's lots of ways you can do that. I mean, and again, all the information's on this channel, um, but it starts off with asking for help, basically and finding support, finding like-minded people that you can learn from every single day. Um, you can't do it on your own. I don't care who you are or what your addiction is and what your change is really, you can't do it on your own. You need support. And where that support comes from professional people, from family or friends, from support groups online or from the likes of AA and NA and CA and all those things, it's all good. It doesn't matter. Whatever suits you is, is how you um, you learn and you adapt and you set go Then you, you start to um, set goals then for the future, small goals in that learning zone. And then once you're doing that and you, you've started the snowball rolling down the hill, if you like, and you're getting stronger and stronger and stronger, um, that's when you go into the final zone which is the growth zone. And the sky's the limit here. I mean, once you get into this zone, this is where it can all lead you. And um, they, it can lead you to a beautiful, peaceful and uh, happy existence. There's no doubt about that. But it takes constant work. You have to work at it every single day. You have to learn to live life on life's terms. You know, um, you have to understand that just to be okay is okay. You don't have to be high as a kite or down there. You can just be in the middle and that's a gift. You have to learn to live in gratitude. You have to give service to other people and pay back for your own self-esteem. Lots of stuff you have to work on and it has to be every single day because it just doesn't, addiction doesn't just go away. There's no magical. All you're doing is living every single day, one day at a time, and not putting a drink in, drug in your mouth for that day. And that's all you need to, to worry about. And then you start setting um, new goals, more advanced goals. And you, and you continue to move forward and grow as a person. And learn to live as this, um, recreate yourself, relearn. 
Um, so basically you unlearn and relearn and you keep learning. And I think the biggest thing of all to remember is to be open-minded and to learn from like-minded people, which is one of the biggest gifts I've, I've had during my sobriety, to learn from like-minded people. And as you grow in then, then you set, you set goals for new habits. You start looking at your diet, your exercise. Two vital components of my sobriety are my diet and my exercise routines. And they're hard every single day. And I'm 62, you know, I don't, but I feel great. I feel 22, you know, I don't. And that's because of that and because I'm focusing on on what's good and making good choices. And um, I think this is half the battle. Once you get through from the comfort zone to the fear zone and you get through um, out into the learning zone and then into the growth zone, once you're in that growth zone, you have to work every single day to stay in there and to keep moving forward. But fear is there for a reason. It protects us, doesn't it? You know, it, it keeps us safe in dangerous situations. That's what the primal reason for fear is. But it also, in the current, in the modern world, keeps us buried in our own comfort zones, you know. And I'm not just talking about addiction in every aspect of our life because we're frightened to step out of it and we're frightened of change, you know, particularly there's a lot to be frightened of in the world. But it's a very unhappy life if you don't live it to the full and live it to 100%. And because uh, it's only a short, it's, it's a short time, isn't it? We're all here. And we need to be blessed and grateful for it. Carpe diem. Seize the day today. Make today the day you change your life. Much love to you all. Bye-bye.